Malikan! Anatoly Malikan is perhaps the best fighter right now in one championship. He has a perfect record of 14 and 0 and a 100 percent finish rate. Anatoly Malikan has got some serious hands and some power to go along with it. And with three championship belts, he has nothing left to prove. But on November 9th, the three division world champion will put his heavyweight belt on the line. Malikin's rise in one championship has been nothing short of meteoric. He arrived at one in 2021 and secured two first round knockouts. In early 2022, he scored another knockout and put himself in position to challenge Rainier de Ritter for the light heavyweight MMA world championship. Hey, the Ritter, I'm ready! <laughs> like Malikin, de Ritter was undefeated in his MMA career and considered one of the best grapplers in one. De Ritter, the Dutch knight and Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, was defeated by Malikin's incredible and powerful striking in the very first round. After Malikin made quick work of de Ritter, he moved to heavyweight MMA, where he defeated the former UFC fighter Arjun Buller and became a two-division world champion. Then, Malikin challenged de Ritter again, this time at 1-166 in Qatar. Malikin would attempt the unthinkable, to become the first three-division world champion in one. Like his previous match against the Dutch Knight, Malikin earned himself a knockout victory, finishing De Ritter and leaving no doubt in anyone's mind that he was one of the best MMA fighters on the planet. There was even talk of Malikin potentially facing Francis Ngannou or John Jones. I'm not told to fight Francis. It's a very easy fight because styles make fights. John Jones would be a tougher fight, but but I know he's faster um, and has better wrestling um, and, and more knockout power, more one-punch knockout power. But that was not to be. Instead, Malikin will make his return to the ring and defend his heavyweight MMA world championship against Senegalese sensation Umar Khan, also known as Rugrug. Rugrug, who is six feet tall and weighs 260 pounds, has had a somewhat controversial career in one. Rugrug's only loss in the organization comes from the fists of Kirill Gashenko. In a buzzer beater fight, Rugrug was knocked out and unable to continue. While Kirill's punch was clearly not meant to be after the bell, Rugrug's reaction was strange and left some fans wondering if he was hit at all and why, if he was hit, did he grab his neck. Rugrug would stack up two more victories before facing his toughest opponent yet, Marcus Almedia Buchecha, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Rugrug would end up winning the match, but only after receiving a yellow card from referee Herb Dean for grabbing inside the glove and the shorts. More recently, there was a fight that made no sense at all. A kickboxing match between Rugrug and fellow Senegalese fighter Boucher Ketchup. To describe this fight as unorthodox or bizarre isn't doing it justice, so watch for yourself. Despite the controversies in his career, Rugrug has earned this title shot against Malikin. What will happen when the undefeated Russian bear takes on the charging African rhino? Tell me your predictions in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video, and I hope to see you at 1169.